Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great. Welcome to the channel uh, and welcome to this video in which we'll take a look at Liquity, if I'm uh, pronouncing that correctly. I think so. The token is uh, LQTY. Very, very bullish today. We're up 30%, which is, I mean, it's, it's perhaps not very, very bullish, but uh, all right, we're up. Volume is increasing. Volume will keep increasing. And this all has to do with that Liquity will be listed on Binance. And I think that came out at like 8 a.m. On, in the GMT plus one time zone. Um, I saw it in, in the Discord channel, which you can join if you, um, uh, there's like a, a new listings bot where which like scans the entire internet for new listings. Um, so there I saw about it. So I just wanted to talk about the listing, wanted to talk about the price and, um, and that kind of thing. Before we do that, um, I do want to say that we have opened uh, a Selenix exclusive trading signals group. If you want to join that, if you want to become a better trader and receive daily trading signals with with explanations and uh, updates make sure to check out the pinned comment there are links to the discord and the telegram where which have instructions on how to join so um, i'd love to see you there uh, but right now let's take a look at liquidity so liquidity has already been quite bullish as you can see since the 13th of february we really started some bullish momentum it fit uh, it, uh, it it fits into some sort of a narrative around um, decentralized stable coins, right? I mean, we still remember when BUSD, or at least Paxos, the issuer of BUSD, um, was um, attacked by the SEC. And then you saw like uh, tokens like a Curve, which is bringing CRV USD, or no, that, that's not true. But you saw tokens like Frax share with their own um, uh, stable coin becoming quite bullish and liquidity as well. So this, um, so this Binance listing really is, uh, is, is really a cherry on top of the cake. Now, however, even though it's great, it's great for the long term, it's great for the short term. Um, the last token that uh, the last yeah the last token that got listed on, on Binance, it's a great project as well. It's called Gains Network. But when that was listed, as most of you know, we were very very bullish in the beginning. But then we did drop down, and we did not get higher than the point we reached in the first hour after the news. And that's a key takeaway, right? So that that means that statistically, right now. Um, it's uh, we hit this level around two dollars, two point one. It's quite likely that that will remain our top, and that we will drop down. I mean, if we would follow Gains Network completely, we would just drop down to this level at one point four, one point five, and consolidate there because that's what Gains did, right? It, it uh, dropped down to uh, to the previous tops because the Binance listing is bullish. We did hold that as a support, but obviously uh, one crypto is not another, and it's uh, unlikely that exactly the same will happen with uh, with Liquity. Right now, I would say that there's still a chance that we will actually rally higher. Our next price target would be like 2.35, 2.4-ish, um, technically between 2.3 and 2.5, but I think we'll hit it in the middle. And I think we can still reach that as long as we're above 1.75, which we are still. Um, if we can actually stay on top of this, and then from here, I mean, let's just say, if we can stay on top of this for the next 24 hours, then I think we can also break above $2 because it shows a lot of momentum still. Uh, and then I think we can break above $2 and get up to that price target around, as I said, let's say 2.4. Um, do I think this is the most likely scenario? No, I think it's a, a scenario. It's a realistic scenario. I think it's more likely just to, to give you my opinion that we will follow gains network a little bit. That will drop down to 1.65 take a break retest off of 1.8, 1.75, and that will drop down to this level around 1.5 and 1.4, upon which we will consolidate. Now from that consolidation, we could very well start another uptrend because the, the momentum and the trend was up, and but I do think we'll drop down to that level first. Um, so yeah, that's my take on it. Uh, if you do have any questions, as always, let me know. But for now, take care and bye.